Is it alive again? Oh, good. Okay. All right. We are back in business. <laughs> All right, cool. I had a wanted to take care of that problem before. I mean, stuff can still go wrong, but at least minimize any mistakes. Now I've learned something valuable for the future. All right, whatever. We're going to now drag this in and sync it up. Is this now all sunk up? Well, let's test it. No, it's not all sunk up. What the junk, man? Uh, there's a way to do this. 145. Do, do, do. Do, 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 sinking, sinking. This should be good to go now. No, still not sunk up. Uh, well, okay, let's try this. Time, divide by two. from the middle like that. I hit sync and turn off host. Will it sync right? Sync. Will you set up now no it's still messed up I forgot there's a really easy way to do this just can't recall if I want to set the host or if I even care about this 145 enter sync this jazz I could use new time <coughs> Figure this out some other time. Yep, eh, this isn't worth it. I'm gonna drag in the original. We're going to open in Time Warper. I've not used this. Sync it. I don't like this win thing at the end. Kind of ruins it. Is there a way for me to half time this or double time this? 80.65. If I put this at 160, what will that do? Okay, 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 okay. I've got to do some research again on time stretching loops. It's a lot less friendly in FL than it is in Ableton.
find another loop. Or you know what? Let's just do this. This is where Renoise, I think, wins. That's fine. Let's bring back this, but move it over a smidge. Move this over a smidge. Which one of these is the hat? This one? something sounds like it's coming out the right only that kick but it's not Beat former. the heck is sounding so dang weird where's that it's this thing oh, okay no 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 no. it's not this thing this thing's fine it's that time new time oh man Here, I'm going to toss a little bit of some choir, some choir -y choir stuff. Going to sit up a little. Oh, yeah, we're going to do some of this. Let's grab an ooh, an ooh, ooh sound. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Da, 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 da. What is this controlling? The beautiful choir. This is like something that native instruments would totally do. We made a choir. <laughs> uh, what are we on? We're C minor, yeah? Do I have short 
phrases that you can use. You know, if you ever watch one of those like top beginner mistakes people use and they're always list that they have windows everywhere. And then I don't know if you they, you could just tab through stuff. I mean, I try to close windows, but I think it's funny. That's like normally one of the things on the list. Oh. I put it a little forward. There's the one with the G sharp. Gotta remember that. um okay gotta use our musical instincts guys what do we need to add what's a thing that needs to be a thing right here let's go let's go and tame this hi-hat a little bit and on this uh that's actually i'm pretty fine with that Toss an EQ, a parametrico equalizer. experiments with some of these notes. want to keep the 808 in here I, it's kind of hard to tell just because i've only got a little loop going so if i were to make the loop longer there'd probably i would probably break it after
such a cool bed. No, no. All right, let's write another violin part. So I think we got a pretty sick idea here. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate the compliment. What is this one? I don't know. Let's try another though. All right, whatever. We're gonna run with that that one right there. Do 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 do. Didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. What do we got? We got Trill Tenuto Tenuto. down here. Oh, interesting. Is it velocity specific? I can't remember. It probably says right on the GUI. That doesn't care. What about this one? No. These are the velocity specific things. Yeah, heck, it's totally. Oh, well, I guess I must have moved notes. If I soften them up, will they be softer? Not really. Oh, you know what? They've got a fiddle phrases as well strings i kind of want to try this out 
percussive chops, energetic improvs. Okay, they're uh, key switch specific. Alright, 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 alright. Right. So we're gonna experiment. This will be called violin, violino phrase. Where the phrase? Am I on the right MIDI channel? I need to be, whoops, turn cap box on. We want to go output four, MIDI channel four. This one's three, this one's four. All right, what range is that? Yes, this is FO Studio. Maybe later, will you tell us if it is best for composers? Can't get my head around the Ableton concept. Yeah, so what do you want to make? That's, a, that's an important question. Um, I think FO Studio is friendlier for orchestral MIDI composition than Ableton is. But Ableton's great for a, a bunch of other different things. It's a pretty heated debate. You'll get people on both sides, and they're both very defendable. So it really comes down to what what you drive with more. But it also, I think, what you make and what you're what you want to make is going to be a, play a big role too. just going to sort of see if we can piece something together using only the starts of phrases. Instead of doing a whole new pattern thing, let's just put this all in the same. No, I uh, do not work in double time all the time. It's an accident this time. Part of it is changing up the tempo just causes me to do things a bit differently. It can be a bit refreshing. And let's see. Do, do, do. Have any advice for beginners looking to make their own samples by recording? Uh, what kind of things are you trying to make samples of? That's going to play a um, pretty significant difference. All right, let's, uh, let's see here. I like the first phrase a lot. Are you going to be like sampling like... Uh, records though like 
as far as recording goes, just make sure you have a good recording chain. Honestly, is the best advice I could probably give you. Just record at a proper gain level so that when you bring it in, you, you can actually use what you recorded. And you want to find phrases that, you know, just catch your ear. Ear candy phrases. Four, 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 four. Fiddle low. We're going to load up a... Mm, we got some options. Options galore. Let's go for the free one this time. Oral reverb. Why not? Bring the decay up. Sounds great right out of the gate. pretty cool uh i got another question here as in musically or as in like what the notes are doing there's a phrase um i can explain it there's a phrase library here and i'm triggering lyrical improvisation phrases Oh, just a sec. Let me switch the piano roll. And since I'm using MIDI to do it, I'm kind of just grabbing the beginnings of each phrase. I'm putting them all together. But in fact, I can actually go to where these are stored. Let me pull over. Wouldn't it be a bad idea to add it to... my library red room oh you know what it might already be part of it if i added the whole folder project files i don't think i did we can add it really quick though contact instruments so we're going to come to options file settings Is there a way for me to just... Oh, yep, there is. Epic. Yeah, I didn't need to do that. So now, there it is. Let's see here. That'd probably make this process easier. Red Room. Traveler Gypsies. Samples. Phrases and effects, lyrical phrases. All right, I really like this first one. Yes, I have synthesized, well, I've tried to synthesize instruments from scratch. I don't know if I'd say, they always end up sounding like almost there, but never quite there. on 40 
gave the 808 in this stream. Well, in the previous stream. I made a mistake, so I got rid of the, like, the first part of this stream. grab this make it unique and reverse uh make it unique as a sample yeah sure whatever and reverse it normalize nah i don't need to normalize <laughs> we're going to send this to its own track route it through the first one we're going to give this one a fruity reverb do, 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 do. Turn up the wet, turn up the decay. And cut up. It's a totally different key. That's part of the problem. All right, we're gonna brainstorm some more. Dude, man, I'm glad to hear that. I do teach. Uh, lessons go, it's pretty interesting. I get a huge swath of of people at totally different levels. Like some people, I'm like, oh, shoot, man. You look like, I don't know if I'm the guy to teach you. You look like you're ready to go for a label. Like you look super ready. And then other people are so new. I'm I'm trying to get across just like, what a piano roll is or what a, what a mixer does. I think more, a lot more people are at that point than at the, obviously, because those are the people who are looking for teachers, but yeah, I enjoy teaching all levels. I think it's great. It's fun to be able to switch it, switch it up and talk to talk about different concepts all the time. little flare that's right there I want that over here too yeah I was like I was I read manuals like a ton that's how I started figuring out what stuff did or you know what would that ending part still work these and do a thing here used to. 
or I don't know, it wasn't technically a label. It was like this conglomerate between a bunch of labels. Now I work for several audio companies along. It's like complicated. Now it's really complicated. Essentially, two of them, because I'm a full-time student still, because I want to go for electrical engineering. And I'm only like a year away from finishing. So when I'm done, I've got to decide if I want to go hard in the music technology or go for production. I, I'm not sure I want to go the music producing, like make that my living route because I've got so many other options and I really enjoy teaching. Uh, I think it'd be great to teach at the college level. I would totally be the guy who's like a math teacher slash like music YouTuber and try to keep it a secret from my class. Be like, oh yeah, playing piano is cool or whatever. Total, keep it a total secret. That would be really fun. I definitely would like to teach math at some point, even if it's only for a semester. Or, uh, because I would teach all the cool stuff along with the math. Like, did you know there was two guys got in a sword fight over, uh, and they were mathematicians, and one guy got his nose cut off, and it was over a girl, but they it started off with a math problem. The whole thing's crazy. People have been drowned over numbers. The Pythagoreans were crazy people. Uh, there's a, And there's, like, a branch of math called metalogic, which is really, really fun. It's logic about logic. Like, is logic logical itself? And there's a lot of debates about this because it gets into the notion of what programming is capable of. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. Just buy a DAR, use your NPC. Yeah. There's lots of great free alternatives. I'm super into math. Like, um, I did several trig questions today that dove into uh, verifications. But I, I'm more interested in getting into the intuition of why they're true instead of just following rules that you know are true which I think is a lot more difficult to learn. I've had math teachers that don't like to do math in high school. When I got into college, it got a lot better because I was able to pick my teachers and I met some really, really great instructors. I took a ton of music classes. I took almost every music class offered in college. That was worth taking. Anyways. They had a lot of perform. I didn't do the performing arts stuff though. Like, I, I took private piano lessons because I auditioned and got in. But um, I didn't, I, I did years of being in bands. I played clarinet. That was my thing. And then uh, I wanted to learn how to compose. So I started composing because I walked around the halls and I was like, oh, I can hear like music in my head. So I should give it a shot at composing. That's got me into piano. From there, I stayed with the performing and I was majoring in clarinet. And that got me into, I heard dubstep and I was like, dude, what is this dubstep thing? I asked a bunch of people who knew nothing about music and they said, oh, use FL Studio, which this is years ago. I think we were, I think it was FL 10 or something. So it was reasonably developed. And I can't remember if Seamless are when I found that guy. But I think his was the music that got me into it. I didn't know he had like tutorials and stuff though. And so synth is all that stuff a total mystery. But I knew a lot more music theory and I was way more experienced in performance. I was getting scholarships playing clarinet and stuff. Uh, so, I mean, things were really going that way. I almost became a full-time performer. Uh, but when I, I decided to, well, it gets complicated. But along the way, I discovered FL. I hated it. <laughs> I, can't, I ditched it. And because I, I didn't understand how anyone could write music using like loops, like what I'm doing right here. Total mystery to me at the time. Had no idea how anyone could handle this. I used Finale um, a ton. So I was really, really good. I was at the point where I could probably train people on how to effectively use Finale quickly. I've actually been hired to do uh, engraving jobs uh, for instructors at Citrus College because um, they're not as savvy with the music and like the engravings just like a fancy way of saying i wrote out the sheet music for people in the program and i heard about getting gigs doing this full time for like hollywood but i also hear it's like a horrifying nightmare like you have to do like a, an absurd amount of work extremely quickly because the music's got to be ready to go like the next day 
one of those kind of like high turnover things. Yeah. So it's um yeah. I mean, anyways, there's that whole aside. There's a, a more I can actually tell the story pretty clearly. It's just a really long, complicated story. Uh, maybe one day I tried doing it once. I'm not like really satisfied with the way it happened because, man, there was a point in marching band where I was just about ready to quit music. I was so frustrated because the marching band basically kicked me out of it and said, you can't you can't even though we paid all the fees so that I could do it. Uh, they determined I wasn't a good enough marcher to be in marching band, which is like it's a high school thing. What the heck? Uh, I actually wound up getting back in the show. But I had a I was having a super hard time with music for a while because of that. But I, I can't really ever say there was a time in my life where I, I like I can't imagine not doing music like it just simply isn't. It makes zero sense to me to not do music. I don't understand how people live their lives without ever without trying to learn music and getting good at it. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. But I remember in high school, I co I completely lacked the ability to visualize a, li a life without music. Like, it just simply wasn't in me. Um, so I was always 100% committed to, like, learning and stuff. Maybe one day we'll do some death metal. I would definitely need to learn more guitar. I have friends who are in death metal bands, though. I could give them a call. Let's uh let's layer in another loop here. I want something that's got a lot more punch on the kick side of things. <laughs> I don't know what I'd say about it though. I definitely would need to like go through and make some first. Death metal is really interesting because I feel like I would probably really just piss off anyone who knew anything about death metal. I put on a triangle. I closed the stream and restarted it. Um, Cause I had a, I activated a piece of software, but there was a moment that flashed the serial code, which was completely my fault. So I went, I closed it, deleted that stream, just trying to avoid any possible problems. Uh, Cause AccuSonus would probably call me if people started activating off that code. And I would get in trouble with some other people, which would be really bad. So I deleted that stream and started a second one. So that's why there's a second. That's why this stream happened. Do, 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 do. Yeah. David Schultz is a friend I have who's in a death metal band for a while. And he would be fun to bring on he's a logic user too whoever was talking about almost buying logic okay let's uh see here kick that's what we're after we're after a kick we're gonna go to leviathan black octopus sounds is not in this folder at all it's down here right here we're gonna grab leviathan 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 i know you're thinking why edm drums They've got some great kick drums in these loops. The way they've done their loops, it's in full loops.
but we only want this. Okay, geez. I wish they had better browser previewing options. Um, we're gonna go to Wicked Drum Hits, Snare, Snares, Snare Drums. <laughs> yeah, I bet it was confusing. That's where I was like, oh crap. I didn't mean to do that. We're going to reverse this one and turn it down. In the mix, did a video a while ago on when they use MIDI versus dropping drums in that I thought was pretty interesting. I don't know why I'm mentioning it. Every time I like switch between the two, though, I think of that video now because I'm like, that. I guess this is when I would do it. Maybe we could replace this kick with one of the kicks in here. Like that. This is where I would go to the You really like it? <laughs> sure, I'll upload it. I like have the rhythm in my head. I don't know why it's not wanting to be written down. Maybe it's like this. Uh, there's a couple of sitars. So there's like, I believe there's one in the India world uh, instruments that they recently included in complete 12. And there's also one, if I recall, in the legacy folders of the contact factory library. This one has got a nice low hit. It's like a little too much. Maybe we'll end up layering. This one's got a bright front end.
This is where I really would rather use a tracker. <laughs> Renoise is better at this. Drums need to be sent to a thing so we can get a better handle on them. That's the wrong sample. I need to buy Redux. That's what I need. I've thought about reaching out to them and being like, yo, I'll make a bunch of tutorials for you if you hook me up with Redux. But Redux isn't that much either. So I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I'll just get it. But then every time I almost hit the buy button, I'm like, but I own Renoise. I own that one. It's like, but I could use Rewire, but I've tried, I don't like Rewire. It's, a, it's not a good workflow. It's workflow is, is so dated. It still works. It's just no fun to use. We're going to try a pitch shifter on this thing. Let's go for a Hertz Rider. Hertz Rider. Da -da 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 -da. to be told. Putting a spread probably is actually a bad idea. All right, you know what? Instead of this, let's go for parametric EQ2. Shaper. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to keep that part, but it's amusing. Uh, should we run these through the same drum bus? Yeah, what the heck? Oh, you know what? Maybe not. At least not the kick. Yeah, 
Yeah, I definitely don't advocate cracks. There's a um, there's a ton of free stuff though. That's it's like it's so much better than it was a couple of years ago. You you could get just about all the plugs you would need. There's even like free DAWs now. Like it's, it's absurd. It's a uh, so I definitely think cracks are they're like nice to have items, but they're not need to have items. So that's just me after a long time though, you know. All right, it's finished. I still don't like the kick. Needs a, a multi pass with a juicy distortion placed on top. Distortion. Thanks. Have a good one. for catchy first recently i've decided i definitely care i've cared too much about random you can see how carried away i'm getting with his stupid kick but the i, I really want something that you can like hum uh, that's become a lot more recent i've noticed that i've not been doing that so i'm trying to do that more Fruity reverb on this. Fruity reverb sounds just kind of too thin for this. We're going to go for. Mm, oh, we'll go for a comet. Comet it is. How long did this take? Um, I don't know. We could figure it out though. Where's the project thing? I've been doing this for two hours. 23 minutes. I'm I actually going. I'm hitting a lot of roadblocks. It's definitely a mix for me on how long things take. Sometimes I get them done in like under an hour, and other times it takes forever. Just depends. We're going to mix this on and off. This would be kind of a useful control. thinking the intro should go is okay so we're gonna have this i think this needs to loop twice before a transition happens here and i think we should have whoops didn't mean to do that we're gonna just have this and then like a little blurp of some hi-hats Ooh, so suggestive. <laughs> oh, no, I started this earlier. And then we'll go again. Oh, look at that. Lines up perfect. I did not do that on purpose. 
And then on this one, we'll have a, a thing. And we'll also tease the last bit. We will drag this over like this. Okay, 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 okay. And we'll, we gotta do something special right there. And this will be the blurps at the beginning. Okay, okay. And then here we're gonna start off with a high pass on this. If you guys have been watching the Fruity Love Filter, I redid all those videos because they needed to be redone. I would love to go through and redo more of them. Uh, it's actually on my, my list of things I'm gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a high pass. I'm gonna automate this. Yeah. All right, I gotta re just remember automation's always confusing with these things. So we're gonna start back here with this. Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter because we don't even have this stuff back there. Should make a producer tag, put it on there. Composing gloves. Or something, I don't know. It's a little too much low end. Will this idea be a good idea? I don't know. <laughs> Something like this, maybe? That sounds so dumb. Okay, we gotta come up with something cooler here. Drag this out. Make unique. See you later. Have a great night or day or whatever time it is where you're at. All right, we're going to get some slide notes up in here. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Do they have to be the same color? I don't I. the FM synthesis. <laughs> Just go to some stupidly low note. trying to remember what did I say I said something about a video oh the FL studio the free love filter stuff yeah I uh, spent a lot more time working on the tracks the little demo tracks for those because I wanted better musical examples something I really want to improve on providing good examples We've got this little hi-hat sound here. It's kind of like got this nice, we do the gross beat thing on this. Oops, wrong tool. Where's the kick? Is this a kick? Yes, it is. I 
don't know. I have all sorts of thoughts about that. So this would be the intro. Got some strings. Probably gonna add a, a pad. Let's take this. We're going to make it 100% wet. All right, this might work. Gonna bring it down right here. Let's grab a half time, possibly. to one bar. That's pretty cool. That's cool right there. Maybe the mix is the way to go. Grab a parametric EQ as well. some more variation. I really like this mix idea. I'm going to move this around. strings you could try changing the register we could half time this too though and mix it like we did with the other
this to be more, more. My kick isn't knocking as hard as it needs to. We could use the, uh, oh, why'd I make that? <laughs> I don't know why I did that, dang it. Already on top of it, great minds, think alike. I thought I heard something.
can't remember if I already made this one unique, but I'm going to make it unique anyways. Talking about this right here. Probably will. Thinking, got a dope intro. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. And then loop back to this. And then an outro of some kind. This is sort of my plans for this. So like this would happen again. We could do a C section that would happen after this. It could be like maybe a mix of two ideas and then come back to this and then hit the outro. Oh, you're talking about this part right here. to try adding some more hi-hats hi de hato hato de hayo okay got to be careful not to get dragged into the endless pit of samples oh you know what we've got xo open I like that one. And that one. Let's bring these into our workforce. I wish when you clicked on them, they would play. So you can be sure you're grabbing the right one. Hey, what's up? Uh, Jenny Allen? If I'm saying that right. selection in the piano roll I can get rid of that there we go Pattern stack, FL always looks overloaded. Yeah, FL kind of looks a bit crazy. I actually got a lot of questions when I was in school and I was working. They were like, how don't you get lost? Um, it's pretty rare that I can't find something. Because most of, in FL, the great thing is if you click it, it pretty much takes you right to where it is. So actually, I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I've just gotten desensitized to it. <laughs> yeah, that's, 
Yeah, you're probably right. second choir for this section. I swear I'm hearing like machines, which doesn't make sense right now because it's really friggin' late where I'm at. It's midnight. <laughs> All right. Okay, so for another choir, we're going to go to the land of 8DO. They've got a lot of great choirs. And they've also got a lot of great sales. Tamir Beers. Silka. Let's try it out. What has Silka got for us? Oh, no. Oh, okay, I'm control Sing after that. That scared me. That's so stressful. Why would you do that? We've got the main patches. Um, direct from disc. I forgot what all the instruments regularly run. We're going to do DFD. I don't want to talk about how much my <laughs> contact libraries cost. Too much. Um, these days, over the course of many, many years, though, so it's not like I got this all at once. And on almost all of these, it was bought on sales. So I'm a pretty good sale hunter. And I'm at the point now where, where I'll get a lot of stuff sent to me. And <clears throat> it's a cool place to be in. With Contact, though, I've bought pretty much everything on a sale. That's the thing, though. Why is my voice all messed up? <clears throat> hmm. Is it better? Is it? Not really. Jeez Louise. That's the thing with torrenting contact, though, is even if you get the engine, there's all the libraries, and some of those libraries are significantly harder to get a hold of. Um, yeah. Why did I just move patterns when I knew I wanted that pattern? Which one's got the choir on it? Are you on this one? Nope. Okay, there's one of the cases. Here it is. And it's because I didn't label it. There's an example of a place where you can get lost. There was another one that came up in a lesson that I wish if you clicked on a sound, it would tell you all the patterns that are using that sound. That would be so helpful. I wish that was a thing. I need to put that in the feature requests. Because that would be huge. Let's close this. This, this isn't changing. What the heck? Was it changing? It was changing. Two hundred gigs of libraries is nothing. It's zero. <laughs> I know it sounds big. But this, the thing that's called Gloves Plug 2 that's on here is four terabytes big, and it still doesn't hold everything. It's frustrating. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Sample libraries can be so friggin' big 
there's a couple I have. Like the the ones that I like saved up and paid full price for were that like not sale. Like I was hunting these down were the Symphonic Woodwinds and Symphonic Brass. And they're huge. They're so friggin' big. But they're super, super good. So these these were ones that like I was like, I'm not waiting for some sale. I'm gonna save up for these. And yeah, I actually haven't bought. I committed myself to not spending money on any more sounds for a while. Like, I just won't buy the library. I've got enough libraries. I don't need any more. <laughs> so unless I see, like, some gaping hole, which is if all of them have been pretty much filled, I've committed myself to not buying the library. I'm trying not to. It's it's like I definitely realized I was like, man, I need to save my money for like important things like bills in school. And so I stopped spending money a while ago. Um, and as YouTube's growing every now and then I get reached out to. And that's always really cool because then I'm like, all right, you know, now I don't need to spend the money. <laughs> I like to listen to demos. That's something I like to do. Um, and that's part of the problem. But the demos have such a cool variety of music. That's cool. I like that transition. If I could change one thing about FL, if you were only allowed to change one thing, it would totally be the fact that shift drag doesn't move you horizontally it throws me off so hard every single time i don't understand why it it it's like an obstacle it's not even useful it's i don't know i don't know why it's a thing I moved, did I move everything? Okay, back to there. Okay, we need a, a thing to go there. I don't feel like I can just grab a riser or something. That'd be like, it wouldn't make sense. So we need a thing that transitions musically from this to there. I think the answer is the violin line and some drum fill. Probably not the greatest idea. Oh, I don't... Well, I mean, it's definitely a hassle for my wallet. But contact an FL Studio runs like a dream there's a reason i never open it in renoise or cubase or pretty much anywhere else studio one five just added i think they're on version five now whatever the re most recent update was i think they added the multiple midi out that i'm using a bunch if they did that is a huge workflow change I think Reaper, if I'm not mistaken, they also have the BRSO plugin. I'm pretty sure they also have it. 
because I saw a Reaper thing for it. If it wasn't Reaper, then it was some other... Uh, pretty sure it's Reaper. Reaper has like everything. All right, all right, all right. Been way too distracted. <laughs> Since this is already unique, let's give that moment right there something unique to do. I didn't expect that texture. Yeah, I've been, I was looking at Reaper again today. I'm going to have to do it and stream it. And then you guys will like tell me all the crap I'm doing wrong. And that could be the conversion. I don't know. I doubt I'd leave FL. It's I've been using it for years, years. And I'm I work for one of the distributors for it. So it's like and I love it to death. It was like I made my first like real songs in it. So I don't know. It's a big 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 toss up. Definitely open to learning more though. Okay, so that ornament, while cool, I think needs to be changed. So it's not that, it's this one. Reaper is a big learning curve. Well, I'm familiar with other, I mean, I'm familiar with Pro Tools and Studio One. It looked really, really similar. And I saw people installing it via scripts, and that's not that bad compared to what I've like done in Contact. Because I edited in Sublime through there. I think it would really, because what would attract me big time to Reaper is the fact that you can write a script to go through and chop your sample recording up for you which when I do that manually takes forever. So I would be very interested in a script that would enhance it. I was talking to David Healy and he does that. And it looked like it worked really well. He doesn't always do it. I, I mean, I don't know what his whole workflow is thing yet, but I know that that was one thing that like, he's like, this is, this is a great, great thing. <laughs> Okay, I want to write like some kind of an outro thing. I think we're going to borrow the same thing, but we're going to reverse. We're going to reverse the direction things are going. So, and we'll 
we'll go backwards instead. We're gonna go up like this. We're gonna go up like this. We're gonna go up like that, like that. Oh, wait, 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 that's the bands. That doesn't matter as much. <laughs> That's a nice ending. So definitely gonna probably come back. I am going to do the final playthrough of what we've got done here in a position where we could add a couple of things to spice a couple moments up. But for the most part, stuff is there. And I mean, we just at a point where we would just need to mix it and that would pretty much be it. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and give it a listen. And then I am gonna go to sleep because I'm really freaking tired right now. That's that's pretty nice. There's a couple there were a couple of moments that definitely stood out to me. Some ideas I would like to experiment with. There were a couple of that I was like, wow, that's that's nice what happened right there. This transition right here, I definitely want to work on. I feel like we could get something quite a bit smoother. And uh and do something like that. Yeah, you came in right at the end. So that was our last play our last playthrough for the stream. And then I'll definitely be back. I think I'm going to be doing some more streaming. And uh, yeah, I really I really like having people to talk to you <laughs> when working. It's pretty nice. Dude, I'm glad you love it, man. Yeah, the, I'll probably have this mixed. Maybe I'll do a whole, maybe I'll mix it in another stream. Um, if I do mix it, I'm going to do janky loud mixing though. Meaning I'm going to throw a master at the end and pump it. So that even though everything over here will be soft, it's going to sound way louder than it is. It causes a couple, like, you could argue about the noise floor and stuff and what that would sound, how it's not a true noise floor anymore. And how stuff that's really soft is going to sound, like, things that were inherently softer, specifically low, high, low high frequencies. That's hard to say. Low amplitude, high frequencies will sound way louder than they naturally should. 
that's going to cause the mix to go down differently. There's a bunch of like considerations, but I think that's the only way you'd really be able to do it over a stream. I guess I could just pump the bus that's feeding OBS too. I don't know. There's options. I'll, I'll think of something. I'm glad you guys like it. Well, thanks everyone for stopping by and uh, I will catch you uh, next time. Try to mix down in another DAW. Uh, I've done a lot of, I've done pro mixing in FL before for a couple people. And that's kind of a, that's a misnomer. The, you just got to be aware of where things are. I like FL for its progressive, uh, its progressive stance towards mixing. So like the ability to automate things like this, especially native plugins, I really, really, I use it pretty fundamentally. But there's a um, there's an article on on FL on FL's page on the and they have a whole thing on the audio engine. Cuz that's kind of a when you say audio engine, it's kind of ambiguous. Like are you talking about like the individual bit depths of the channels and the sample rates they provide versus the master channel? Cuz I know that some some DAWs like Reason, they have a whole video about how they increase the bits on the master, which is, which is uh, interesting. I'm not sure if FL does that, but they're uh, and the way that dithering goes down and when dithering is proper. And I took some DSP courses that actually went into dithering, and I learned that most things are going to have dithering and not tell you about it. But it's a specific kind of dithering. Like there's a whole bunch of different types, and the kind of dithering that you see on the render page when we hit like Control R. And we, save to something go to render this type of dithering is noise shape dithering it's very different than like classical like last digit randomization dithering uh, and then you have like windowing functions and all these other things and i don't know i i think uh yeah i think fl's audio engine is fine that's all i'm trying to say but i understand it's a pretty commonly said thing a lot of people say it so i don't know I've never personally bought, bought into the sentiment, especially if you just run a couple of tests against one versus the other. They sound the same. See you later, bro, man, dude. Yeah.